Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Tech Rita here with another video. We will fix your IT administrator has limited access in Windows 10 or 11. Press the Windows key to open the Windows search box. Type CMD and click Run as Administrator under Command Prompt. When Command Prompt starts, copy and paste the command below and hit Enter. Now log out and switch to the Administrator account. Check if the problem is still there. Once you're done with using the Administrator account, you can disable it by starting Command Prompt as Administrator and running the command below. Press the Windows key plus I and select the Accounts option. Select Email and Accounts and check if there is a work or school email listed there. Remove the email and restart. Don't shut down your PC. This can also cause your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app error. Press the Windows key plus R, type gpdit.msc, and click OK to launch the Group Policy Editor. Navigate to the path below in the left pane. Double-click the Allow Anti-Malware Service to start up with normal priority. Set this policy to Disabled and click Apply and OK to save changes. Now double-click the Turn Off Windows Defender Antivirus. Set it to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. Now go back to the Windows Defender Antivirus Navigate and double-click Client Interface. In the right pane, double-click the Enable Headless UI Mode. Select Disabled and click Apply and OK to save changes. Press the Windows key plus R, type Regedit and click OK. Navigate to the path below in the left pane. Now delete everything in this folder except the first one. Press the Windows key plus S, type CMD, and select Run as Administrator under Command Prompt. Type the commands below and press Enter after each. Note that you might get an error message after some of the commands. Just ignore it and proceed to the next one. Restart your PC after running the commands. If all of these didn't work, the best option left for you is to reset your computer by opening the settings. Go to Windows Update, then Advanced Option. Open Recovery. Then click on the Reset Now. Choose Keep My Files or Delete Them All. Then here I recommend recommend re-download Windows to reset it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If so, hit like and subscribe for more content.